currently where we're staying, where, where we're working is a, this is a rural, rural setting. We are in um, rural Africa. Most of, our, most of our clients are farmers uh, who, who dig almost the whole day. They rarely eat, they rarely eat f maybe, maybe meat or fatty foods. It's pretty really, it's, it's rare. A few years ago, actually, about five years ago, ECGs in our setting were a bit, were a bit rare actually. Doing ECGs and being used was a bit uh, unusual. Partly because of uh, one, the cost of ECG, and two, also the difficulties in doing an ECG, ECG too. And uh, now most times it required somebody who knew how to place the leads, do the ECG. And uh, it happened to be usually me most times. The nurses feared doing it. The medical officers feared also doing it too because they feared putting the leads wrongly. And, uh, and also lastly, also the cost to the patient too. Because we required, we used to use uh, disposable electrodes, you know, which basically are not very uh, easy to find in town and also come, come at a cost. So meaning the cost for ECG for a patient was, was fairly was fairly significant. If you use the device by left made the belt, it is one of first of all it is it's a, it's a, it's a cheap equipment because you don't require to use any buy any electrodes, any paper, you don't, you don't need that, just the, the belt and maybe a, a phone or a, or a, a tab basically. And uh, secondly anybody can press the leads whether they have uh, whether they're educated, not educated, whether they have been to medical school, nursing school. They can all do it. It's very easy, and uh, I think most importantly, the tracings actually are very, are beautiful, and fairly easy to interpret. And so I think going, for, I think going forward, I think for Africa, rural Africa, even parts of Africa, I think doing ECG will, should, will soon become actually a, a routine, and should be a routine, both in the ward and also in the outpatient department too. What you're not seeing, both in the, in the outpatient clinic and in the wards, is a lot of hypertension. Uh, Lepentrical hypertrophy and a few other abnormal, abnormal ECG findings too. So thinking about it now, I think most of the patients we see, they might require required to have an ECG. Because from what I think currently, hypertension, ventricular hypertrophy is very common and very easily missed.